I'll tell you just briefly uh, about my start of doing this, and then we'll start to do some of the techniques we're gonna do today when we go on our field trip. I was uh, working at my family's flower shop, and this was 1997, and uh, I got a grant to work at a local adult day program to use poetry with them, and this was people living with memory loss or dementia. And so I hit on the idea of using classic poems that the people might have learned as kids. And so my moment of inspiration, the story I love to share with people, is there was a guy in the group and his head was down, he wasn't participating at all, and you would think he's, you know, he's unaware of his surroundings. And so I said the Longfellow poem, I shot an arrow into the air and his eyes popped open and he said, it fell to earth, I knew not where. And suddenly he was back with us and he was participating. And I was like, wow, this is really, really beautiful, really powerful. And we've seen um, the techniques that I'm gonna teach you today being used in many different cultures and many different languages. And uh, we've had success. So I'm super excited to be here with you today. So our main technique that we use is call and response. A poet says a line of poetry and has the group say the line back to them in unison. And so when we're working with elders that may be experiencing memory loss, it's a very powerful way to connect with them. We're going to recite a poem, and after each line, you guys are going to repeat it. I wandered lonely as a cloud. I wandered lonely as a cloud. And I know um, part of this is personality and being comfortable, but the more we give out to the neighbors when we go visit them, the more they'll give back to us. Keep smiling, keep smiling, and smile! Oh, yeah. oh you got a great, that's you got a great smile. Thank you. He's got an amazing smile. Very good, and to Oliver, very good. How do we want to present this poem? Come up with a little bit of strategies. Maybe it has singing in it, maybe it has movement. I don't know, we're gonna find out. There was an old man with a beard. There, there was, was an, an old, old man, man with a beard. beard. Who said, it's just, just as I fear. Can we add something to it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the emotional tone of the poem? What do you think? It's like soothing. Soothing, okay. So you have to say it with a soothing voice. Whatever that means to you, make your voice soothing. Just add a little bit of soothing emotion. Hope is the thing with feathers. Hope, Hope is the thing, thing with feathers. feathers. Yeah, but sing the next one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let the rain sing you a lullaby. Give him a round of applause. That was, that was very beautiful and very lovely. We'll just briefly go over the other techniques uh, that we'll experience today as well. So the, the second technique is to have uh, discussions around the poems. So that's just, we'll just talk about them, uh, you know, ask any kind of question. Now number three is uh, to use a prop, something the person can hold, smell, touch, taste, something to stimulate the senses. And what we're gonna do today is use feathers. And we'll just ask if they would like to feel it on the back of their hand or even on their cheek. And the idea is just to stimulate their senses outside of saying the poems. Now the fourth technique and that we're, we're going to use a lot today um, is to create a poem together. And so we're gonna do that by asking open-ended questions around the theme. And our theme, uh, even though not all of our poems uh, that we've practiced today have bird themes, but we use birds. Then we get parakeets. Yes, I like to fly out in the ocean. In the ocean. And you're gonna compare it to something blue as? Blue as the sky. What a pretty day this is. This is. Sort of culminating part of the session will be, we will perform the newly created poem that the group creates. <laughs> if I was a bird, I, was a bird. I, would fly. I would fly right here, right here. To, this right here. to this moment, to this, moment. To this, nest. To this nest. nest, made of friends. Made of friends. We don't know exactly what the people will be like. We don't know if they will have memory loss or not. Uh, some may, some may not. There's many different reasons why people would be there, and we won't know what those reasons are. So the whole lesson is designed to accommodate and get everyone to participate on some level, but at the level that they are able to. So the touch therapy is uh, primarily, we ask the people if we can hold their hands and we move their hand to the rhythm of the poem. This often is um, one of the strongest emotional connections we can make with our neighbors and friends when we go visit them. You know, maybe, maybe they don't give many people visiting, right? 
And if you're extending your hand and moving it with them and having this emotional connection, looking into their eyes as you say the poem, this can be very, very beautiful. Can we step outside of our traditional, normal, human ways of connecting with people and talking with them? And for a moment, can we sing a song? Or can we hold their hand and move with them and have this connection with them? And that's, that's at the core of this work. So I'm going to say a line of the poetry and you repeat after me as a group and that way we can all perform the poem together. I carry your heart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. I carry it in my heart. I'm never without it. I'm never without it. Anywhere I go, you go. Anywhere I go, you go. I fear no fate. I fear no fate. For beautiful. For beautiful. You are my fate. I want no world, I want no world. For, lovely. for lovely. You are my world, you are my world. Root, of root of the root, bud of the bud, bud, of the bud. Tree, of the tree. tree of the tree, of a sky called life, a sky called life. That, grows that grows higher and higher, and higher. Than, soul than soul can reach or mind can hope. That keeps the stars apart. That keeps the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart.